Here's why I would not build a Canonly clone with Bubble, but also what I'd do instead. But first, just a quick demonstration of why I wouldn't build a Canonly clone with Bubble, even if there were the right plugins, even if I found a way. Uh, and simply put, it's working with dates and times in Bubble. Anything beyond kind of standard events on a calendar, if you're doing anything recurring, anything scheduled like that, it becomes a real nightmare. Let me demonstrate why. So I'm not even able to use the default date time picker because that is either only date or date and time. So I'm using the, uh, what's it called? The air date time picker because it offers many more options. It's brilliant. It's the thing I go to if I need to do slightly more complex things with date time. And I can say only have the time picker. But here's the trouble. Say I want to select the time of like 10 a.m. Of course, Bubble doesn't actually treat that as 10 a.m. It's treating it as 10 a.m. today, and it's treating it as 10 a.m. today in my time zone because when a date time field is actually used in the Bubble database, it saves it as a Unix timestamp. So if someone else, if I was to save this date here as 10 a.m. on the 14th of October, which is going to be well UK time, if someone was to see that in another part of the world, it wouldn't say 10 a.m. Now, before I launch into solutions and options you've got, if you're building an app with Bubble, which you probably are because you're watching this video and you want to accelerate that process and you want to get access to hundreds of Bubble tutorial videos and uh, some amazing courses that we've already done and, and courses that are in production, then do click the link down in the description to get started over at planetnocode.com. Okay, one other issue that you've got here is, so say I want to save 10 a.m. in the database. Well, what does that actually mean? Well. Okay, this is the route I went down when I was building a scheduling service in an app a couple of years ago, is I thought, okay, so 10 a.m., that's just however many seconds from midnight. So it's like a GMT offset. Well, not quite, because the GMT offset for 10 a.m. for my time now, uh, which I think we're still in British summertime, Maybe that's changed. Anyway, the point is that a lot of places in the world, their time zone changes by an hour as the year goes around. And so the GMT offset also changes. So even if I was to say, right, in order to know what 10 a.m. is for Matt today, it's X number of seconds from midnight or, or plus from GMT, that actually changes at another point in the year. So you could even, okay, and then even if you had some sort of complex workflow where you kept a database or you queried an API of all these different time zones, uh, and even if you queried that, say, every day and you updated it, there's still going to be a time when one user from one part of the world view my calendar is going to see slightly uh, erroneous data compared to what they would expect to see because time zones do these crazy things like it goes to 2 a.m. in the morning and it drops back to 1 a.m. So what if someone's trying to book at that time and the time zones are different? Anyway, there we go. You, <laughs> that is why it is a complete nightmare to build a scheduling app like Canonly in Bubble. So here are your options. Firstly, if you're building an MVP and scheduling is not your main component, I would really recommend that you just allow your users, say you're building an app where professionals can connect with each other or, or uh, CRM for them to manage their clients, just give them the opportunity to paste in the Canonly link uh, and then either link directly to it or dynamically insert the unique link data into an embed that you've got on your site. Now, I'm a big fan of companies that come in and disrupt the market. Of course, Canonly is, is the giant in this space. Uh, but personally, I've, I use Savvy Cow and I've been using Savvy Cow for years uh, because they did something which I believe Canonly is copied now, but this idea of showing a week view rather than showing a month view. They want to make it so much quicker for people to book appointments. Uh, so if you want to use a slightly disruptive service to the market, uh, I'd really recommend Savvy Cow. We've got a link down in the description. We've got a link down in the description. It's an affiliate link, so you can help us out by clicking it. But what if you actually want to deal with availability in your bubble database or you want to kind of keep it in-house as much as possible? Because we've not even got to mentioning the fact of, well, what about clashes? Well, if you want to deal with clashes, you need to be able to bring in their Google Calendar. But what if they've got a mix between Google Calendar, that's their like Google Workspace, their work calendar, but they still use an iCloud, an Apple Calendar for their personal life, and they don't want to be, get clashes on either of those. 
Well, if that's the case, then it's worth considering offloading this whole frustrating area to a third party service. Chronify is one that I've not actually used before, but I wanna mention it because, uh, uh, well, just, just to give you an idea of basically, this is gonna cost money because as I hope I've explained up to this point in the video, there is so much going on behind the scenes. There is the availability, there's the third party calendar integrations, there's the clash management, all of that, there's buffer times. All of these things, for goodness sake, don't build them into your bubble app when you could, well, you know, can you cover the cost of, uh, well, it's 10 pounds, however many dollars that is, uh, it's just localized, $15, okay? Uh, so uh, Chron Chronofy is one of them. If I'm honest though, the service that I find myself recommending the most to people is called Nihilus. And that's simply because you can find, well, you could build in the Bubble API connector and you could probably find videos on how to do it of how to fetch events from someone's Google Calendar. But what if you want to fetch events from their Apple Calendar? Well, you can go to Google and you can Google uh, iCalendar or Apple Calendar API. And I'll tell you what you'll find you'll find that there is no official API for the Apple Calendar. So you have to use a service like Nihilus and it takes you through the, it takes your users through the process of setting up an app specific password. And then I don't know how they do it, whether it's some sort of uh, like virtual browser, but they can now, well, they will then be able to read, write and analyze the data in someone's Apple Calendar. So uh, there you go. That's I'd really recommend Nihilus. I'd recommend looking through their documentation. I'd recommend talking to their team because if you need to do, oh, let me just go down to here because the main bit here, the Nihilus scheduler, they provide an embedded out of the box UI to deal with scheduling. And just to give you an idea of how simple but both complex it is, if we go into docs and we go into uh, is it calendar, we basically want to see about availability, uh, Okay, it's in there somewhere, I looked at it recently. Because still, you're faced with a challenge of how do you express availability, but at least if you get it in the right format, you can build that form in bubble, you can hand over the actual taking, what is Tuesday at 10 a.m.? What does that mean in six months time for an individual bearing in mind their time zone? Hand that over to Nihilus, take the headache out of trying to build it with bubble. Hopefully I've persuaded you not to spend weeks and weeks trying to get a scheduler to work in bubble, just using the bubble database and the bubble date time pick because it's so much easier if you delegate it out to a service like Nihilus or it's difficult, You've, you're really excited about your app. Frankly, if you're building an MVP and scheduling is not your main thing, just allow your users to link to the existing apps that they use and put it in your version two, the ability to schedule, manage availability in your app.